Chainsaw Man chapter 107. Honestly, I have less stuff to talk about than I did last chapter, but let's talk about it. Okay, so this chapter was pretty heavy action-packed, which was cool, but then, like, it just kind of ends and that's it. And, basically, Asa is now gonna face the Judgment Devil and she has a secret plan, and that's the end of the video. Okay, obviously that's not the end of the video, because the video continues, but <laughs> that's the end of the chapter, and... I mean, there's not, like, what am I supposed to say? Like, oh, am I supposed to come up with, like, nine different things that I think that Asa's plan is? I don't know. Talk no jutsu or something. I don't know. It's probably not that, I'm sure. She's probably gonna have some crazy, weird, you know, Toski Fujimoto type of plan that's like, whoa! Like, didn't see that coming or something. I don't, I don't know what Asa's gonna do. And I honestly don't, like, didn't really put any thought into it. I just like, well, I gotta make a video on this chapter, right? So, I'm making the video, and honestly... I'm not even going to make this video about the chapter because I literally have nothing to say about the chapter other than the fact that Fujimoto's really out here massacring kids in school. So that's pretty wild to see. I mean, not really. It's Chainsaw Man. What do you expect? But also it's kind of like, okay, well, they are, you know, okay, students. But okay, um, <laughs> like, because I feel like in part one, like we weren't in a school setting. And so like we wouldn't see like that young of people like dying left and right like I kind of feel like majority of the time it was like adults so it was like a little more like okay that's fine whereas now they're all like 15 and dying and so it's kind of like okay um I mean it's it's to be expected it, manga does there's a lot of manga that do that it's not that crazy but anyways um enough about the chapter one thing I do want to say like before I end the video even though I'm only two minutes into the video so it's obviously going to be a short video um like, <laughs> as a mangaka myself, or even, like, honestly, you don't even have to be a mangaka to notice this, um, but Tatsuki Fujimoto is in such a lucky position right now, like, really, really lucky position right now, just in the fact of, like, I've been noticing his release schedule lately has been kind of, like, sporadic, um, like, one minute, Chainsaw Man is weekly, the next, it's bi-weekly, and it's back to weekly again, um, you know, they just came out with a chapter, then they dropped another chapter, and next week, they're dropping another chapter, so, I don't know if this is weekly, or bi-weekly, or whatever, same thing with, uh, the creator of Tokyo Ghoul's new series, uh, Chojin X, um, I believe that is also has a very spor sporadic, um, release schedule, like, there isn't, like, a set schedule, they just kind of, whenever the chapter's done, they put it out, right, and that's really unique in manga, like, you don't see that too often, especially with, like, big IPs, something like Chainsaw Man, and it's, like, crazy because it's, like, it's cool that they're giving Fujimoto the liberty of doing bi-weekly at all, um, even though it's, like, there's still 20-page chapters, so he's doing the same work that he used to do for part one, but now he has, like, twice the amount of time to do it, you know? And whenever he comes to a chapter like this, a fill-in chapter, as I like to call them, where it's kind of, you know, you're progressing the story, but, like, nothing really happens. Like, you know what I mean? Like, it's not, like, a big chapter. I feel like these are the chapters where people don't really want to wait two whole weeks just to get this. And that's why I think, like, there are certain parts in part two that are going to be weekly so we can hurry up and, and get to the good stuff and then once we get to the good stuff i feel like fujimoto's gonna you know hang back a little bit and give us bi-weekly chapters and stuff that's what i've been seeing so far i mean we're still early into part two but that's definitely the direction that it seems to be going and the reason why i mentioned that fujimoto is super lucky is because again like a lot of authors don't have that like luxury um most <laughs> actually do not have that luxury and on top of that uh mappa just dropped the chainsaw man anime which i personally have not seen yet um but from what i've heard about it is i mean it's studio mappa the animation quality i'm sure is like top tier and i've heard nothing but great things um for the past like um two episodes that have come out and so i'm kind of like yeah like imagine having an incredibly well done anime and like you don't even have to lift a, lift a finger like 
Fujimoto has nothing to do with the anime, right? So it's like the anime, I'm sure, looks absolutely gorgeous. And it's like he doesn't even have to like do it, you know, and he can just focus on his manga, which he has more liberty as far as like time and stuff. Like he doesn't have to rush anything or, you know, worry about deadlines because he, he could literally finish a chapter in a week. And then that chapter might not be, you know, the deadline might not be till next week. Like, let's say he has two weeks to do this chapter. Well, it's only like 20 pages. He's been doing 20 pages for the first 97 chapters of the manga. So what if he just does like a chapter in a week and then takes the whole week off? You know what I mean? He could do that, actually. Like he could literally, like if it's bi-weekly, he could literally just sit there, do, take, like basically work every other week. And it's like, think about that, dude. Like how much time off can a manga could have? Like you don't see that. I'm not saying that's exactly what he's doing. I'm sure there are some chapters, um, like we did get a 40 page chapter a while back, I'm sure that took, you know, both weeks to do, um, but for the most part, like when he does hit those bi-weekly, you know, parts, it, it does feel like, yeah, like he can kind of relax and take his time, and I know he has like new assistants and stuff that have joined him, so it's not like he's doing it by himself, and it's just like, like, damn, like, he's in such a great position right now, because I'm sure he probably has a lot more free time than he used to have, and then on top of that, it's like, the anime is also airing, but then it's not just an anime, it's a MAPPA anime, um, which is, like, top-tier anime, like, pretty much every, like, w when you look at the fandom, like, every time a manga is announced for an anime, the fandom right now, as far as 2022 goes, Everyone just wants every manga done by MAPPA at this point. Like, MAPPA and Ufoldable are, like, taking over the game. And I'm not saying that they're the only, you know, incredible studios out there. But as far as, like, popularity, definitely. And it's just, like, I don't know, man. To me, I'm just, like, damn. Like, I'm mad. like I couldn't imagine being in, like, such a lucky position, you know. Um, but granted, I mean, don't get me wrong, like, it's not just luck, obviously Fujimoto has put in uh, the work, and it's not like he's a newcomer, it's not like Chainsaw Man's like his first work, it's like this dude's been in the game for like a minute, so, you know, all the power to him, you know, um, but yeah, I just wanted to mention that, because like sometimes, like, you know, because I'll be drawing my manga, right, and it's like, I'm just by myself, I don't have an editor, I have no assistance, you know, I'm working a 9 to 5 job on top of it, so I don't, don't have all day to draw my manga, and like, there are times where I'm like, damn, like, I just couldn't imagine, like, being in Fujimoto's position right now, it's just like, to be able to, like, not have to care about deadlines as much, but then also be having, like, a gorgeous-ass anime, and all that, and just like, I don't know, man, I mean, dude's just, you know, He's in the zone. He's definitely in the zone. So I just really want to uh, kind of praise him for that in this video and be like, damn, like that's, you know, I wanted to acknowledge that, you know, because I don't hear people talking about that. Um, but then again, I'm not really on social media like that. So maybe if I was on social media a bit more, I'd probably hear people talking about that. But I'm not, so I don't hear people talking about that. Um, <laughs> yeah, dude, I still have not checked out the anime. And I know that's weird being... A huge Chainsaw Man fan but I did mention in a video prior that I actually refused to watch the anime why because I don't want to watch it week to week because to me Chainsaw Man is it's very special and I don't want to I don't know I don't want to treat it like normal anime I don't want to watch it week to week I want to wait until the entire first season is out uh, whether that's 12 episodes or 24 episodes, I don't know what it's confirmed for, but whatever it is, I'm going to wait till the entire first season is finished. Um, even if MAPPA takes a break, they put 12 episodes out and then wait like a year and then put another 12 out or something. Didn't they do that with Attack on Titan? They like put half the season out and then the part two out like a year later or something. If they do something like that, it's like, I'm still going to wait. Even if it's like two years from now, I have to wait to watch the anime. It's fine. Like I'm super busy in my life as it is. So I don't really have time to do it right now. So I don't really care. Um, but as far as like, you know, watching the anime, I'm going to wait 
until the entire first season is out and then i'm gonna have what i'm gonna call a chainsaw man day where i'm gonna get me some snacks i'm gonna just sit in front of the tv all day long and watch the entire season in one sitting um so if you you know follow my channel and you say hey why do you only cover the manga and not the anime well there's your answer well, that's all I have for you guys today, but if you want to go check out my manga series, Katosai, there will be a link in the description where you can go read it right now. Also, don't forget to check out any of my playlists. If you missed any of my weekly Chainsaw Man videos or my bi-weekly SSR videos, which are my Sunday series recommendations where every other Sunday, I read the first chapter of a manga that I've never read before, and then I recommend it to you guys. Or my Manga Could Talk videos where every month I give you guys a life update on, well, pretty much my life and anything else anime and manga related that I didn't get a chance to talk about in other videos. But with that said, I'll see you guys in the next one.